the experts. John Reyes, president of one of the most successful technology training organizations in real estate. John is a sales guru who knows what it takes to close a deal. Jacob Swadek, renowned speaker, trainer, and author. He's not only an educator, but also a successful real estate practitioner. Matt Allman, nationally acclaimed social strategist. His training curriculum has been adopted by thousands of agents across the country. Hi there, welcome to The Experts, the most relevant real estate show. This is our very first show and we're excited about it. We have a lot of relevant and exciting things to talk to you about. And we're gonna split this show into three short segments. The very first one is gonna be kind of a what's new with us, what's happening in our world. Hopefully you care. A lot of neat things going on actually. In the second segment, we're gonna talk more about technology and how it relates to you as a real estate professional, stuff that's really gonna help you grow your business. And in the third and final segment, we're gonna talk about marketing, advertising, tips and tricks, ways to grow your business. So we got a great show planned today. So I'm gonna start by asking you, John, what's new in your world? Well, primarily right now, just a ton of speaking opportunities. We're having the opportunity to go on out, share how technology is really impacting or changing the real estate industry. Uh, had an amazing event yesterday down in South Orange County. It was a lot of fun, a lot of luxury agents. Average price, I would say, is about $800,000 or more. And it was just great to see how agents were wanting to adopt technology into their business. And Matt and I just recently came back from Orlando as well, speaking at Century 21 Top Agent. And it's an amazing event, top agents from all across the country. Mm. It's a lot of learning, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of partying. Had a really good time. It's really partying. refreshing too, mm. that event with top agents, yeah. to, to see the way that their minds work. And it's like, they always want to achieve the next level, if you will. It's crazy. I think what was most impressive there was meeting a part-time agent whose income was over a quarter of a million dollars while he's actually a full-time teacher as well as a coach of their impressive. high school football team. Impressive. You wow. want to talk about being top agent and efficient? Pretty dang impressive. What was his reason for only wanting to be a, a part-time agent? Three more years in, he's been there for 17 years, so three more years he gets to retire, so he gets the retirement income. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, benefits for pretty much the rest of his life. Imagine if he spent all his time doing real estate. And that's exactly what he told us. Yeah. He said, as soon as I'm done with work in three years, he's about to become beast mode. But really, the only way he was able to accomplish that as a part-time agent was through technology. Well, yeah. Matt actually was on the bus ride with him. We went down to, what was that, that Disney Hollywood Studios or something like yeah. that. And on the way, he pulled out his mobile phone showing Matt his process, and Matt was blown away. Basically, Impressive. as we walked away, he was like, this is one of the most technically inclined agents. And I thought, no wonder why the guy's doing so amazingly wow. well. Yeah. And then you also got invited to speak at the ARIA National Convention in Vegas. And uh, I'm proud to say, and also for you, Matt, both of us were invited to speak at the California Association of Realtors Expo coming up in October. I'll be talking about how to deliver your 60 second elevator pitch. What are you gonna be talking I'm about? I'm gonna be talking about what's next for social, how to tweak your current social strategies, and then there's a lot of different platforms out there that will deliver for you, but maybe you don't know where they are. So yeah, it's so neat. I mean, the whole state of California, and they choose you to talk about social. What a compliment. Thank you. So a lot of exciting things going on. We'll be right back with our next segment about technology and how it relates to you as a real estate agent. We're back. Hey, in this segment, we're going to talk about technology. And uh, a lot of things are changing. Matter of fact, we have all these news stories, and we're trying to go through and see which ones are we going to talk about in this show today. But the one that's the most um, outstanding, if you will, is the fact that the rules with Google are changing, I understand. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, the rules of Google are changing all of the time. And mm. it's just when people hear about it, it's kind of like when they're already on to their next thing or other changes and modifications have already been made that people don't necessarily know about. But I think the biggest thing is this, is that at one time, you can go on out and hire a search engine optimization specialist and pay somebody to do little things here and little things there in order to get your site to rank. And back in the day, it was all about how many keywords did you have or how many sites linked back to you. But because Google is becoming so smart and almost like a human, it's really about just being relevant. It's about offering relevant information about your area, your territory, about the local schools, the community. And it's perfectly in alignment with saying, for the agent that's going to take it upon themselves to use video or blogging, tremendous opportunity to really enhance their marketing efforts. Are you thinking it's leaning towards artificial intelligence? Honestly, if you go online and even play around with Google now or even some of the, the different applications that are out there, like no question. I don't think there's any question in, of that Getting at all. Getting smarter and smarter, yeah. It's super complex. It really is. When you say AI about Google, it's something that we actually talk about in our office because 
you're getting to a point where not only offering relevant information, but it's quality content. Mm. So based on how you title to the text that you have in the blog, now you're talking about embedding a YouTube video. Mm. There's a transcript now that you could plug and play and it shows what you're saying on a video, it puts it into lyrics. Like, so all these different factors are being looked at by Google, whatever their formula and algorithm is, and it's saying, yeah, that's relevant to everything going on. It's well, crazy. And let me ask you, Jacob, as the real estate practitioner, I was speaking to about 100 agents yesterday and I asked, who in this room right now is just totally dominated with technology? Who in this room just feels so confident that when you go to a listing presentation, you know that you're gonna annihilate your competition because you're incorporating technology? And people laugh. They laugh when I ask that. Hashtag annihilate. And so, <laughs> why do you think that is from a real estate perspective with all the technology, blogging, video? What's the frustration? What are the challenges there? I, I, to be honest, I don't think realtors completely get it, right? This is your world. You guys think about it, you even say, we're in the office, we talk about AI. Like, that just sounds so like geeky tech to most of us. So it's your world. So I think what we have to do is be better adopters of what you guys are saying. Truth is, uh, when I talk about Yelp or video, the power of somebody getting to know you online, um, I get these looks in the audience, like they're just sure. like, well, does it really work? And I, and I addressed the big crowd yesterday, and I said, the scariest thing is that you have no idea how many business transactions you didn't even get thought of for, yep. right? In your sleep, you were being dismissed because you're not where you need to be. I mean, it's that big, it's that strong. I think when done well, when done strategically, it's that whole top of mind awareness. So for example, if you're gonna go on out and buy a soft drink, you say, well, I'll take a Coke, when in fact, maybe you want a Dr. Pepper or give me a Kleenex rather than a tissue. Mm. So it's really taking these tools and resources and saying your network, your family, your friends are already online. How do you use them? So that way you're not only top of mind, but at the same time, give other people who are just going on the internet searching for the local real estate agent. Or what about schools in, let's just say, uh, Rancho Santa Margarita. Right. I wanna know about schools in Rancho Santa Margarita. So let me, let me ask you a question though, just because of time in this segment. You know, sometimes I'll ask them what time it is. They want to tell me how to build a watch. I just want to know what time it is. So for the real estate professionals watching, real quick, what are some bullet points they can do differently or what do they need to be doing based on these new rules? Well, I think one of the big things is we look at the data and the facts that are out there and the feedback from Google Analytics as well as from the National Association of Realtors and the three big things that consumers are saying, I want this, I want this, give it to me and I'll work with you are virtual tours, educational information, whether that's first time home buyer tips or whatever the case may be. Video, and that can be done through vid video. All through yeah. video um, or through written content. And last but not least, a resource for your local community. So if those are the three things you focus on and you know consumers want it, mm. give it all. And I think that Huge. because we're short on time as well, it's really thinking about, well, if you do have video and if you are writing content, where does that go? Right. And I know this is in an entirely different segment all of its own, but now it's that monster mobile responsive website. It's that nucleus to say everything spawns off of this because that in itself, that's how you build a true online brand, online identity. So I, I got a um, proposition. Our next show for the marketing or for the technology part, let's talk about that, the mobile responsive mm -hmm. site and how that really is the hub and everything else is the spokes. What a great conversation. We're gonna be right back and talk about marketing. We're back. In this last segment, we're gonna talk a little bit about marketing, which really is just taking your product or your service to market or to the market, which is where our prospects live. And I think we wanna talk just more conversationally about learning how to stand out. I think in our business, matter of fact, I know in our business, we do such a poor job at standing out. You know, we get our license and right away it's, where'd you get your business cards? Where'd you get your headshot? Who made your website? You know, where'd you get your stuff? Because I'm gonna copy you and do what you do. And in a way, it's like we want to look like everyone else. But the truth is, there are some great agents that already have their business on lockdown. And we need to go after not the masses, but we need to extract fans, you know, through a niche type, uh, uh, you know, process to find people that are going to follow us. For example, if you're into dogs or smoking cigars or if you're, you're an Ohio State fan or something, learn how to really focus on being you, be unique, uh, a little out of the box. If you're artsy, have fun with it, right? Um, it, we're even seeing video evolve and change and, and stop worrying about the 100% and go after that 5% that's going to go, I like that guy or I like that gal. I can, I can identify with him or her. They're funny. They're interesting. We have common interests. And, and then they become your raving fans. They follow you in social places. They go when you speak or they, they listen to you when you say, list your home with me. And it's just such a more powerful way to, to really market your services. What do you guys think? 
I think that right now there's a tremendous opportunity for real estate agents to really enhance their marketing efforts, but to do it with the intention of saying, okay, with what we've done up until this point, maybe it's not okay or it's not good enough. And I think it's really challenging the real estate community to say, let's step up our game when it comes to marketing. And I know that that's one thing that you like to talk about a lot, but I'll give you a perfect example. I met some amazing agents yesterday. They do really, really well. And I mean, they kill it. And when I went online and checked out their websites, if I'm a 30 year old home buyer and if I find this agent online, there's no way I'm picking up the phone and calling them. Mm -hmm. But here's a good thing. The good thing from them is that they are top agents and they knew that with where we're at, we got here for a reason, but we don't wanna just stay here. Like we need to step up our game. And I'm like, those are the type of agents that I think are gonna do tremendously well as we transition by having just a much more technically savvy consumer. Well, not only that, but the, the, the feedback as we call it over here, right? Or Apple. feedback, as it or were. feedback. You know, from the real estate community, and when we're out there speaking to them, I mean, they're telling us how overwhelmed with all of these different platforms. So now we're saying, hey, now you have to have great quality. <laughs> then you have to market. So they're still stuck on, where do I go? Where are my resources to make sure I do have that really solid quality to stand out and then be proud of it and not just have eight likes or eight shares, you know, something basic. I just had a moment of reflection yeah, because exactly. I was thinking, remember we used to use years ago that analogy of the train is moving and it's boom, it's moving. And once that train starts getting its momentum, eventually it gets to the point where it's going so fast it makes it extremely difficult to jump on. And I don't think we're necessarily at that tipping point yet, but I do think that video is something that we're already beyond, needs to be used. Social accounts, already past that. Now, when we're talking about quality, it's absolutely right. It does make it more challenging. It does make it more difficult, but at the same time, with challenges comes tremendous opportunity. On the next show, I wanna talk about video and, and this direction it's going. It's really exciting. Matter of fact, hold me to that because I think that needs to be a, a major topic of our next show. Absolutely. That kind of wraps this first show. We hope you enjoyed it. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know that if you're a, uh, a manager or owner of a company or you wanna invite us out to, to speak at one of your next events, that's something that we do, we love to do, and we do a decent job at it. The way you can book us for that is to go to relevantagent.com and go to the About Us tab, and all of our information is there, our contact information. And there's also a survey on relevantagent.com that you as a real estate professional can fill out. We're constantly looking for the right agent, or we're constantly looking for the right group of agents that we can work directly with and to say, let us help you transition into this new way of doing real estate. Mm. Yeah, and also if you have questions or topics that you want us to break down, go to relevantagent.com and our social icons are there. Make sure that you follow and hashtag with those topics, relevant agent. So make sure that you do that. We want to make sure that we stay relevant as well, right? And deliver the topics that matter to you. Awesome, great job guys. So we'll see you on the next show.